Okay, so since I have some time today, probably one of the last weekends I'll have free here, uh, I wanted to take down some dead trees in the back. So, yesterday I pushed one over because I had a little bit of time. Uh, they're just dead pines. As you can see here, there's this dead one that's leaning out. Uh, and another one to the right of it, one in between, another one to the right of that, and another one over there. So there's at least four or five that I want to push down for sure. And actually there's actually one even behind that other one. So what I'm going to try to do is go up through this path, push that one over and any of the ones in the back there, and then try and push all of these front ones backwards uh, if I can. Because this one I know is going to fall over in the way it's leaning. I'm hoping I can just push it back, but we'll see. If not, I'll have to drop it like in between these trees and have it come out here, but I just don't want to clean it up. I just want all this stuff in the back and down. But over here, you can see the one I pushed down, the stump sticking out. Fell over fine, but of course, as soon as you push it, the thing breaks at the top, so that's the dangerous part. But for the other ones, I'm going to cut at the bottom, give them a little back cut, so hopefully they just break off and I don't have a huge stump sticking out. So I guess let's see if we can get the excavator up through this path. May have to pluck a tree or two. Take some of those limbs off. I left a whole bunch of holding wood on that because I did not know how rotted this thing was and you can see in the center it's absolutely rotted out. It just had some hard uh, wood just around the outside so this thing was coming down soon anyways. You can just see how rotted these are. Let's see if I can clean up this pile a bit here and just shove this thing over because it's about it's about done at the bottom. I think I'll just push it.
So this one right here, um, I think it's still partially alive, but the whole top has been snapped off and all the branches up there have nothing on them. Just small little branches coming out of it and I'd rather just get rid of it. So this one's a bit, a bit more full. So I'm definitely gonna have to cut this one just to make sure that it uh, falls over and doesn't get caught or the stump doesn't wanna come out with it. All right, so getting to this one is gonna be a little more difficult because I have the fire pit right here. So I'm kind of thinking I can make it up if I just get through those two trees and I can get the bucket up against it and push it that way where there's an opening there. Um, this way, if I'm pushing it, it's right against another tree as well as a larger pine that's still alive behind it. So I wouldn't, I'd have to like push it like that. Unfortunately, all the branches are on the side towards me, so. See if I can get up this way.
All right, that makes me feel a lot better getting that down. I mean, this thing was also just rotted in the center, starting to just decay completely. And uh, would definitely have been a problem if I had put a shed, or if I put my shed over here because it was leaning that way. Would have definitely hit it. So makes me feel better to get these down. So that takes care of all of the ones that look like they'll fall in my yard. I just have that one last one over here that I want to try and take down through the woods because <clears throat> that one's pretty close. It's pretty big and might as well get it down. All right, so that one didn't come down as clean as I'd wanted it to. Uh, I was hoping that it would go a little bit further right and miss those trees, but when it came down, I had no control over it and my cut just was a little off, I suppose. So hit the tree, but luckily, you know, doing this out the excavator would be a nightmare because these trees can fall whichever way they want because they're so rotted and weighted weird. But doing that without the excavator would have been hell because that would have got caught. Couldn't do anything about it. Luckily, since it was nice and rotted, I could just put some weight on it and break it. But you know, I'm not too worried about cleaning it up because over here, this is behind my neighbors, it's just all those dead pines that have fallen over the years. So, you know, that one was right on the line, but it's in the woods and uh, down, that's safer than it being up and possibly falling or getting caught. 